Debo said he wants, no, no, no. It's been reported. Clarence, I forget the guy's name. Uh, but anyway, he's, he's a very important. I trust anyone named Cowboys. Clarence. He's good. You no, know, he's legit. He's, he's legit. Sorry, I should have his name. He says that Debo wants to be the highest paid non-quarterback in the NFL. I mean, I want to be the highest paid non-quarterback in the NFL too. It's not a bad thing to want. It doesn't mean that you'll hold out for it or that you'll insist on it, but that's a good place to start your negotiations. Anyway, um, if that's what he insists on though, if that's what he needs, that gets kind of tricky because that would mean that the Niners are would have to spend more for his contract than Nick Bosa's. And I have a feeling the Niners were planning to spend more on Bosa than Debo. I would That's think so. The, the market would indicate that you would pay an edge rusher more than a wide receiver. Although with all these wide receiver contracts coming out, it's getting closer and closer. I view Debo as, as the type of individual. When I look at the way in which he posts on social media, the types of things that he puts out there, he's very much the, the type of guy that wants to speak things into existence. And, and so I could see this as putting it out there. I want to be the highest paid non-quarterback within the NFL as sort of speaking that into existence in getting paid there. I just don't think that that's a, a, a reasonable reality. I don't think even if the 49ers were to trade Debo to another team, that another NFL organization is going to be prepared to make Debo the highest paid non-quarterback in the league. That may just be wishful thinking. Yeah, I because... He, you could argue that he's the most valuable non-quarterback in the league. I think he is the most valuable non-quarterback, especially on offense. Sure. Because no offense relies on their non-quarterback as much as the Niners do with him. Right. The Niners offense legitimately sucks without Debo. And that's with Kyle Shanahan, George Kittle, Trent Williams, all these Brennan Ayuk. They, it sucks. And or it has. Whereas has. You, take, you take Nick Bosa off the defense, they had a top five defense for an entire season. Right. Him. So – Debo's really important. He could really make the argument that he's worth $30 million. And I do think there are teams that'd be willing to give it to him. So it's just interesting. Like, what does he need? We all have egos. What yes. does he need? Does he need to be to say that he's the highest paid? Non- Cause you know, like the contracts aren't necessarily real. They come no. out and they can say, I'm the highest paid player in the league. And then two weeks later, like actually the guaranteed money isn't that high. Does he need to be able to say he's the highest paid non quarterback uh, in the league? Does he need, more guaranteed money. What what would it take for him to be happy? Uh, if he needs more money than Nick Bosa, this is going to get really awkward. And, and that could be a win for the 49ers if they take that angle of like, hey, Debo, you got the injury history, man. We're just not going to be able to get there with the guaranteed money. But, but we can make you look like the highest paid non-quarterback in the league. We can have those incentives that you're not likely to hit that probably aren't going to count against our cap at any point. But if you hit them, you're going to go through the roof. That's what um, the Niners did to Colin Kaepernick, if you remember. Yes. Remember? Initially, it came out. They made him the highest paid player in the league. And then a week later, they're like, actually, it's the least player friendly contract ever. We can get rid of them in two years. It was like, remember that? Yes, so I do. Done this before. They, they, they sort of like, we'll give him the headline. We'll give him the headline, make him feel good about himself. But then two weeks later, we'll tell all the, the local guys, like, here's how we got over and why, how this is a team friendly deal. Um, they could try that. Um, but anyway, I just think it's interesting that Debo wants that much that he's posturing like that. And I think, you know, good for you, dude, because you can make the argument. I actually, yes. if I were ag- your agent, I'd be right there with you, man. I would be saying this dude is more important to the 49ers than Nick Bosa. It, it, it's dude it's is all like, about leverage right yes, now. Yes, you got to say that because yes. look, they lost Nick Bosa for a year in 2020. The defense was great. When, Nick, when Debo Samuel isn't on the field, their offense is awful. Right. Like they had Debo with Nick Mullins against the Rams and beat him. Yeah. Freaking beat him. Right. I'm just saying, like, he's that and, important. Yeah. And the Niners are taking the opposite approach. Debo, great. Yeah. In, in 2021, with Jimmy Garoppolo as our starter, you were the most important piece for this offense. Now yeah. we're making the transition to Trey. Guess who's working out with Trey this offseason, who we think is going to have a bigger season? Brandon Ayuk. You're yeah. over there in Miami, man. You're, you're not yeah. down in Southern California. You're running working back on our team now, bro. Right. I don't know, bro. 
So All you right. could see them making the counter argument because again, both sides are posturing right now. It's all about leverage. It's all about saying who has more of it in order to bring down the other side's negotiation. Okay. So if Debo's posturing at like $32 million a year, I want to be the highest paid non-quarterback. Where are the Niners posturing at right now? And is that why things are getting weird on social media? Because if they, if that's where they're at, and the other end of the spectrum would be like top end running back money, right? Like we'll Ooh. offer you 18 million a year. Oh, that would be that they. I mean, they could be fourteen million a year. It doesn't mean that they won't get this done, but they could if, be like comically off right now. If they are that far off, John yeah. better be on the phone. Like, hey, uh, anybody interested in a trade here? Because that feels like too much distance to cover. I would love to know what the Niners and Parag thought they would be able to get Debo Samuel to agree to, like two months ago. I'd love to know I, what they thought. I would like to know if they actually could have gotten it done if they had just tried two months ago. Because I think they probably weren't as far off back then. I'm guessing they could have. I'm guessing yeah. they, could, they could have a third round pick for Jimmy Garoppolo right now. The one that Indianapolis traded for Matt Ryan. Because they didn't know right. Matt Ryan was going to be available. They no, if you had just said, cool, we'll cut our price. We'll take third. I bet they'd we'll pay have a portion that. of the salary. Yep, I bet they'd have that. And I bet, yeah, um, they'd have this done with Debo Samuel right now. Let's take the let's flexibility take hurt him. It did. Nathan says if the Niners trade Debo and keep Jimmy, uh, I'm be pissed. Pod, pissed off daily. Daily? I don't know. Probably. I have no idea. The the acronyms, uh, the shortening. I uh, no, I'm out. I'm too old for that. His mom bought him the the Jimmy Garoppolo jersey. Should have been laying. <laughs> don't put on your mom. She thought she knew. She thought she probably heard you talking about Jimmy Garoppolo. She said, oh, he's going to love this. He's going to love this. <laughs> he's always talking about Jimmy. Exactly. Don't put it on, Mom. Sven says, Grant, are we really not just calling this posturing for a better contract by Debo? We've seen this happen with players a million times before. Sure, we're going to talk about that too. We're also going to talk about yeah. like the like the meta conversation of this whole thing because it's so yep. interesting. Um, need that merch, Grant? Uh, play the kid. I'm working on I swear. I just had a conversation with my guy, Everett. Who you got? My guy. My guy. Everett's Brian a good says, dude. The guy who made this. Uh, yes. Brian says, to me, Debo isn't worth $30 million yet. Bet you Niners want to see one more season of that type of production, which is fair. Devontae Adams and Tyreek. Yeah, but they can't really make that argument when they just gave Jimmy Garoppolo the bag after five games. I'm just saying. They could be yeah. right, but it, it's hard to say that, you know, and then have, like, the the agent of Debo, like, look Parag in the eye and be like, well, where was this energy <laughs> for Jimmy Garoppolo? And yeah. Him. Is it, oh, you overcorrecting because you messed up with Jimmy Garoppolo. Is that, yeah. is that what's going on? The, the handsome yeah. white quarterback you were willing to do oh, that, no, but now? Okay, but this – but the, uh, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, Last year, it gets contentious. Wide, it does. Last year, uh, biggest wide receiver contract given was $472 million. <laughs> Laughable. Right. Pissed off. Pay Debo. All right. All right.